Now let's see some calculations for net book value. Well, what's net book value, also known as carrying value, same thing. And that's the current value on the balance sheet. And that's the, the net PP&E, right? The net PP&E we just saw on that example, that's going to be our carrying amount. So generally speaking for any asset, how do you calculate the carrying value? It's historical cost, right? Like the main value, you know, same with AR, right? It's the original value minus accumulated depreciation or minus allowance for doubtful minus impairment. So any reductions to its value, that's the carrying value. Revaluation model for IFRS only, not as important for this, just so you see it. The revaluation model, it's fair value at revaluation date. So the IFRS model basically makes you revalue your inventory constantly, minus subsequent accumulated depreciation, minus subsequent impairment. All right. Uh, for the revaluation model, a class of fixed assets is revalued to fair value and reported at fair value minus this subsequent accumulated depreciation and impairment. So these revaluations, they're going to be made frequently enough to ensure carrying amount does not differ from the fair value. You know, is that every year? I don't know. You know, I don't, it's not up to us to decide. Um, so when the fair value of a machine differs from the carrying value, further revaluation is going to be required there.